Hello, my name is Dean, Dean Fisher, and um, I'm from the UK, and uh, I've been a teacher for quite a long time. Um, I've been teaching in the uh, ELC, uh, Institute University, for almost 10 years. I treat my students very individually. I don't see my any classes as a, a whole entity, and I try to uh, help them and give them feedback and to see them as people rather than even just students. Chu his ability to keep finding new things and bringing those new things into his teaching and it, it becomes continually evolving and improving. I motivate students by choosing topics that I think my students will like to communicate. telling jokes. pass to next person. read in the teacher development sessions that we have here, you get the same sort of feeling as the students get, I think, in Dean's classes. Um, Dean's very relaxed and laid back, but you get the feeling that you can uh, interact in a, in a very um, relaxed environment. Over the years, he's tried several new things. Um, a few years back, he did the creative and critical thinking course. It used different ways of looking at arguments so that somebody wasn't always stuck with being the person who objected in discussions, for example. And I think it was very helpful to students to have this way of acting out different ways of being in English. Um, I've got four fundamental ideas that I follow um, in my teaching philosophy. They are that um, learning and teaching should be, in my opinion, student-centred. Um, also, that um, students can't really be learning if they're not motivated, so that's a big thing. Thirdly, that courses and teachers should inspire students to improve their thinking skills, their creative thinking, um, critical thinking, decision making, discussion skills, etc. And fourthly, I think also that teaching and learning should help students to become more independent in their learning. Uh I've been working with um, the Education Development Office and uh, we've been leading a team together of uh, lecturers and teachers within the university and we've been trying to explore different ways of uh, trying to help students to use the ePortfolio as a learning tool. The technical side of ePortfolios is quite difficult but at the same time if students can get over those obstacles then I think that um, it has a really valuable place within learning. His aim was to make students more reflective and independent learner. And these ideas are very big, very um, rather vague, rather abstract. He was very capable of turning uh, these big concepts into rather small and manageable tasks. An essential element of teaching for me is I think I feel it's very important to give students power, to give students power in learning. Dean, you are the best English teacher in the world. You make me love English. I will remember you forever. You are so unique. Can you see him with him in the way? No. <laughs>